Are you looking for a complete career change? Or are you just about to leave school and don't really know what you want to do? Well, I'm here at Incom to find out all about their apprenticeship program. But before you watch this video, make sure you go back to last week where Chloe took a tour of Incom's brand new facility in Telford. So my name's Gareth Jones, Managing Director of Incom Training and Business Services, so welcome here today. We're predominantly an engineering manufacturing training provider, offering three key things to industry. That's apprenticeships, technical upskilling, and also managed services. We've got seven sectors within our business. We've got uh, engineering apprenticeships, we've got continuous improvement, we've got quality compliance, safety compliance, and business support. So Incom's got three main academies. We've got the HQ, uh, we've got Aldridge in the Black Country. We've also got Telford now, which we launched last week. And that's in the industrial epicenter of the North Marches region. And in partnership with SDE Technologies, we've also got Shrewsbury. So for Incom, we're really ingrained in industry and we formed industrial strategic partnerships because we only exist because industry exists. So we have to give them exactly what they need and how they need it. So as you go through the academy today and as you learn more about income, you'll learn more about these strategic partnerships with industry. How are we using the intellectual property of engineering organisations to build the curriculum, develop our industrial competence to deliver the best output? Now, here at Incom, Everybody starts on a manual machine before they work up to CNC, like this manual lathe here. Manual turning and milling is becoming a bit of a dying trade now because of CNC. But it's great to know that the next generation of machinists will all have the basic skill and the basic knowledge needed to do all them complex parts. So I knew I always wanted to go into engineering because I really enjoyed maths, which a lot of people think is quite strange, but I enjoying working with numbers. Um, I, when I went to uni I did mechanical engineering and I knew it's kind of something that I wanted to do. Um, and then doing an apprenticeship you learn so many more skills that are practical. So at work I don't do a lot of practical things, I sit at a desk for a lot of the day and I draw, whereas when I come to my apprenticeship I do a lot of manual things and learn things through that which I find makes me understand them better because you have a grasp of how everything works and I think that's a better way to learn. Well I work at Metsec but they've chosen for me to do full time over here for training so that means I come in here every day for like the week and then depending on what section I am which right now it's fluid power and hydraulics well pneumatics and stuff but um so now because I've started that we're just doing the theory for that and then doing the practical side at the same time. Yes, so again, post-pandemic, we've seen a lot of reshoring of jobs from abroad, um, and, but we've got a skills gap, and we keep banging on about this skills gap, but it's in all types of industries. Hence why Incom is partnering with industry, which is a niche such as this tooling academy that you can see behind us, to actually focus on key instrumental issues and barriers to engagement for organisations to really hit the target market and to develop engineering manufacturing in the UK. Upon leaving the Air Force, I worked for a steel company. I became, just as an engineer, I ended up the production manager and eventually the account manager. And with that, that gave me experiences such as quality, costing, the, the, um, making sure that every part was correct. And that's something we instill into teaching. Whilst doing that role, I became a manual handling instructor and a crane instructor. And with that, I became a kind of income once when I became a, I was a forklift driver as a course which someone near us taught me. <laughs> oh, you can admit that one. Yeah. Um, I had a company Incom at the time, and over the years, a relationship with Incom grew, and I actually realised there's something I would like to do, so I decided to come back and teach the parents with some of the skills I was taught over the years. Um, one of the key things for me that we can do here is we try and give them the technology that we've seen transform. 
what we see behind us is a fluid power section. Where we start off, we do it mechanically. Then as time goes on, we do it electrically. And as the course progresses, then we use Wi-Fi, such as PLC controllers. Now that is what gives me the excitement to give back to the learners, that they can see progressions as they go. At Incom, obviously, all apprentices start from the very bottom on the manual machines. But once they progress through, they can progress right up to this Quasar 5-axis machine which they've got in a partnership with ETG. Now, this quiz machine is full five axis simultaneous, which they can program on their course. And one of the great things about it is, it's all done from the control, or they can use Visi from Hexagon. And they have all their tools set, ready, so anyone can jump on this machine, know exactly where the tools are, what pockets they're in, start programming, and be cutting material straight away. We love that. That shows, you know, a huge amount of initiative. So if somebody comes and knocks on the door, we welcome with open arms, show them around, take a tour of the facility, also tell them about the opportunities that we have available. And then we would continue with those same steps that we would pre-interview them, really get to know what they want, what kind of uh, apprenticeship they want in the engineering sector, what kind of sector they want to work in within engineering. And then we will match them then to any of the vacancies that we've got available, put them forward to interview, and then hopefully the, the company and he's, he's more than happy with them and takes them on and starts their journey. So um, I started with Incom 17 years ago, so quite a while ago now. Um, I come through the, through the door um, wanting to be a design engineer. Um, I went through my training. Um, at that time the, the company was quite small, uh, whereas now it's, it's grown quite big. Um, went through my training, <coughs> uh, went to um, college then to get my other qualifications uh, as I did. Um, progressed then on to being the shop floor manager. From that point then, um, I then naturally then progressed uh, up onto the academy's manager, which I am today. Now, I hope you've learned all about apprentices from Incom. And I really hope you've learned something from this series of Swarf and Chips. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's anything you would like to see, if you would like us to visit anywhere, then please drop a comment below.